What's up everyone? Welcome back. Um, this is going to be the Dallas Card Show review. And um, it was pretty easy to park on Friday. There was a big uh, celebration for Texas Rangers winning the World Series. Um, crowd picked up a little later on Friday. Um, then I went back again on Saturday and it was a pretty good crowd. Um, a little bit less than the last time I was there but it was a good time and we'll start off with um, you know I got to meet up with uh, some of the regulars that I see at the Dallas Card Show with James and Matt and Tyrus and we all signed our card here first item I picked up from picked up from the table that James is working it's a 1951 Stan Musial Wheaties card and these uh, cards came off of a mini box of cereal and I'll show you that it's a little bit bigger than a normal 52 Wheaties you can see the size difference there it's nice to get a Stan Musial from the 51 set. And it's a smaller set. I believe there's only like six cards and maybe Stan, Ted Williams, and Bob Feller might be the only baseball. So I know there's a George Mikan. But the next card I picked up was a 1950 Topps Felt. Glenn Davis from Ohio University. It's been a while since I had one of these cards. They're pretty cool. L little tiny things. In the back is it like a felt pennant of the college that they attended. Next up I picked up a batch of these 1948 Swell Babe Ruth story. It's a 28 card set. Um, of cards depicting scenes from the Babe Ruth movie in 1948 and I did pick up six cards here's one with uh, William Bendix who played Babe Ruth in the movie and they're all different scenes from the movie and maybe some uh, background scenes that um, weren't part of the movie and then some of the major actors They were in such good shape, I had to pick them up, and the price was right. I got it from a friend of mine that he, he, he advertises himself as the Babe Ruth collection. And he's out of Kansas City. He's a really good guy to deal with, really friendly guy. I'll show you six cards I picked up here. In the backs, swell, bubble gum, Philadelphia chewing gum, and then whoever the card is, Claire Hodges, played by Claire Trevor, or vice versa, I'm not sure, can't remember. And the next group of cards are 1969 Topps Decal. They were inserted in packs of 69 cards. Here's Hank Aaron. Guy had a group of them and I didn't want to just pick out a few. So I just asked him what he wanted for the whole group. There's a Reggie Jackson from his rookie, rookie year. And here's the double bonus of Reggie Jackson again. There's two Reggies in the group. And of course, I had to get my guy, Harmon Killebrew. And I also got doubles of Harmon Killebrew. When I get doubles of players, it's pretty easy for me to trade them away or sell them or get money for more cards. Here's Mickey Mantle from 69. 
his last year was 68, so is this a playing days, Mickey Mantle? And of course, uh, say hey, Willie Mays. And the next item I got at a table, a different booth, it's the 1964 Wheaties stamp album and fact book. And the first thing I do when I look at these is I look to see what kind of condition the Jim Brown is in. That looks pretty nice, centered. When they separated the car, the stamp, they didn't do any damage. It looks really good, as do most of the cards in the set. Pretty good album. The Johnny Unitas. That looks pretty good too. And there's the guy I like, Bart Starr. Great looking card. And another another cool item I picked up was this. 1963 post serial box pa back panel. Main reason I picked this up was for the Jim Cott. Roy Face from the Pirates. Joey J, he's popular. I haven't decided yet whether I want to send this to PSA to get it slabbed or not. And the next uh, next batch I got from uh, Mike Moynihan from the basement. These cards are from the basement collection. And I um, had a real good time talking cards and going through stuff at their table. It's a real good group. He had Andy and Garrett there. Just a great time. And I'll show you a picture of them afterwards. I was taking the pictures. And I took like three pictures and finally I was done taking pictures and they're standing there, all three of them smiling finally. So I missed that. That would have been a good picture. So here's a exhibit card, 1922 Joe Bush exhibit card. And it's got the cream color back. Here's the first year of exhibit cards. Shanks. Infielder for the Washington Senators. So he's the Minnesota Twins franchise player. With When the Twins moved they from Washington to Minnesota. And those are from the basement collection. Now go into my miscellaneous exhibit folder. And this is probably the nicest card I got from Mike. Um, this will be added to my exhibit set that I'm working on. This will be number 14 team card out of 23. You can see Jackie Robinson there. Roy Campanella up in the back row there. All the other famous Brooklyn Dodgers, the Bums, and it was printed in 1950. You can see the an exhibit card on one side, cream color back. Just appreciate the deals that Mike gave me. I also bought a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, Wilson staff photos and some pins and some other miscellaneous items. And then I was looking at this Ken Hunt pin, and Andy and Garrett said, here, um, we're going to make an executive decision and just give this to you. Because um, Ken Hunt is from Grand Forks, North Dakota, and uh, 
I guess I helped those guys out when I was going through the value boxes or the miscellaneous box that they had on the table. I was just having a good time. Um, glad that I could be of service. And this is between 62 and 63. So that's when Kent Hunt played with the LA Angels. Love that hat. And the last item was a deal I made with the card story. Um, Matt wanted some Warren Spawn proof cards I had, and he had this Armin Killebrew Pittsburgh exhibit that I wanted. So that fills fills that space in my Harmon Killebrew collection. I want to thank Matt for coming down and making the deal with us. It was fun fun chatting with them guys, walking around the show a little bit. Um, just a great time at the Dallas Card Show. And I'll show a few pictures of some of the items that I saw at the show. I didn't purchase, but I thought they were pretty cool. And uh, so a picture of uh, of the uh, basement collection table and Mike and his group. Um, so thank you everybody for watching and hope you all have a great day.